This video is brought to you by Pride 22 DVD. In stock and shipping at SureDog.com. Over a year, the Pride heavyweight belt has been in dispute. Fedor Emelianenko claims to be Pride's heavyweight champion, but Noguera also has claimed to the heavyweight belt. And on January 2nd at Pride Fighting Shockwave, finally Pride will have its true heavyweight champion. Fedor taking on Noguera for the undisputed heavyweight champion. Fedor, one of Pride's toughest fighters ever. Just ask his opponents. This heavyweight hits hard. Ooh. Quickly, but there's a couple of left hooks followed by a right by Fedor. Now throwing combinations. Big Daddy with a couple of blocks, but then a right hand lands. Oh, right, look at him, look at body shots, body shots. And there's there an example go. of it, right hand, right hand, right hand, to the head, to the head. Oh, left this is going to be over. This does not look like it's going to go long at this pace. It was right there. It was a strike. Oh, big, 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 big punches. He's got him, he's got him stunned here. Oh, that's it. Oh, big shots. Big shots. Fedor's all over Lugera. Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. oh! That looks like a box in there. He's got the joke. He got He's got it. He's got it. It's over. Whoa! What a fight. What, what a fight. fight. That was an incredible fight. Fedor hails from Russia and comes from a family of fighters. His training is pretty basic. He says he trains the old Russian way, hard, every day. Fedor doesn't only possess heavy hands with devastating power, but this Russian is also skilled on the ground. Brother and Vladimir Vladimir Vladimir. Vladimir. He's got his arm. And moment at the pep. Oh, no. And Fyodor Emelianenko submits Mark the Hammer Coleman with the armbar. So make no mistake, Fedor is determined to prove he is Pride's one and only heavyweight champ. Check this, I feel of my shotgun. His nickname is Minotaro, from the Greek mythological character Minotaur, which was a creature that had the body of a man, but the head of a bull. That's because Noguera can not only dish out the punishment, but also take it. Sap in the white trunks, and Noguera shoots for the takedown! Oh! 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 Uppercuts to the head. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, Bob may throw him out. He's going to pick no! him up and drop him under his feet. No! That'll make it tight. See? Somebody does that. That's a pretty good job, Bob. Yeah, but Bob Sapp yeah. blasting away and giving it back to Bob Sapp. Don't really hold oh, oh. any punches. Oh. Sapp on the bottom again. Beautiful. Oh. Whoa. on top for it. He's going up, boy. He's going up. Absolutely unbelievable. Noguera 
is one of the toughest opponents a fighter could ever face. That's because he's been fighting his entire life. He started judo training at age 5, but the biggest fight he ever faced came at the age of 10 when he was run down by a truck, leaving him in a coma for four days and in the hospital for over a year. But once the young Noguera left the hospital, he returned to the fight game. And at the age of 14, he began boxing. Then at 19, he started jiu-jitsu. Today, Noguera is one of the best all-around fighters in the world. And he plans to prove that there is only one pride heavyweight champion, Antonio Rodrigo Noguera. Why is Pride's heavyweight belt in the middle of controversy? You need to see the fight that was supposed to determine the heavyweight champion and just what happened. Pride for the title, it has come down to Emelianenko versus Nogueira, champion versus champion. Nice roll there. Oh, look at his balance, Emelianenko's balance is unreal. There's a nice left right there delivered by Emelianenko, but now he's cut in a triangle Whoa. position, able to break that. Yeah. Gonna go with the up kick now to the face. You watch. Oh. And again, Emelianenko able to sneak through with that right hand. It could be an exercise in futility. Yep, he's. Yep, I mean, he's trying. Yes. Right oh. hand by Nogueira and an up kick. Oh. And he's. Oh, he's cut. He's, Fedor is cut. Oh, Emelianenko badly. Oh. Oh, it might have been the punch. Yeah. It might have been the clash of the heads. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like that. And that's oh, what it yeah. is. That's what it is. And uh, Fyodor Emelianenko and Antonio Rodrigo Noguera go to a no contest here. The only good thing that comes out of it is a rematch. Yes, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> Me too. Uh, if that fight happened yesterday, I was ready to fight. You know, uh, that that. I was ready to fight him in August, and I'm, uh, uh, that accident happened, you know, uh, he had a cut. And uh, I'll be ready to fight him any time he wants. Ну, просто на данный момент я занимаю эту первую строчку. Хотя я не бился еще со многими бойцами, очень хорошими. Поэтому я не могу сказать, что... I am 100% confident in myself and uh, I got a lot of respect of this guy, he's a very tough opponent, very good athlete and uh, the biggest challenge I ever have, but I'm 100% confident I can do my, 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 my best over there and can be the winner. So, now that we've heard from the fighters, what do the fight fans think will be the outcome? At Shockwave, Fedor and Noguera are fighting, and I think Noguera's gonna take it. That guy's ground skills is phenomenal. And his stand-up's even better. So I'm, I'm calling out Noguera. He's gonna do it. I think between Fedor and Noguera, that it's gonna be Fedor. I hate to say it, but I think that his stand-up is too strong and his ground is too good. I mean, he's a well-rounded fighter, and uh, Noguera's Real scary, real smart, and uh, real technical. But I think just the sheer power and uh, intelligence and drive of Fedor is going to overmatch him. I'm rooting for Fedor. I also like, uh, I'm, of course, you know, 85% striker, so yeah, I'm, uh, I root for the strikers. But um, Noguera is a very dangerous man. His, his guard is one of the most dangerous places in the world of mixed martial arts. And, and for Fedor to sit in his guard for another 20 minutes again and not get submitted is, is going to be a task. So, um, I'm rooting for Fedor. I honestly think that this time, Noguera might have it. So now it comes down to this. January 2nd, only on pay-per-view. Fedor taking on Noguera for the undisputed heavyweight belt. There's a battle unfolding. The rematch is finally here. And they both have one goal in mind. Pride Fighting Championships. Undisputed heavyweight champion will finally emerge as Fedor faces off with Noguera. Champion versus champion. The battle for the belt. Pride Fighting Championships. Shockwave. 
premiering January 2nd on Pay-Per-View.